I'm gonna get you. Oh, hey, this guy has been warned. This guy has oh, been warned. No. If you try to cough it. Oh, my. Ay, mi madre. <laughs> oh, hey, PDW. He PDW. He did that to himself. Oh, All right. shit. Alright! Oh, hey, you gotta roll with it, bro. You gotta roll with it, okay? Roll with that shit. Oh. Sue and all you beat me when I was in cuffs, morons. Alright, I'm calling EMS. Oh, EMS is here. Oh, now you're here. Well, right here. Here. I got I'm my here. lawsuit. We're gonna be rich after this. Alright, right, should I should I help you up to your feet? I should be good. I should be good. I'll, I'll, you. Uh, we should be Aspen? good. You good? Yeah. Oh, all right. God, it's I'm so alive. blurry, man. What's up, Andy? <laughs> yeah, it's really I can't blurry, see yeah. no more. Bro, what the fuck was this oh, chase, yeah. man? Okay, you'll wake up quick. Is this what it feels like going against CG? Yeah. search. Make sure belongings are good. Um, okay, so I'm gonna give you guys some general notes from that. I don't think you're on the radio. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I, I'm actually, I'm on the radio. We're all on channel nine again. I'm gonna give you guys some uh, general notes on that. Um, okay, so, uh, I understand that things can get hectic and you, you know, are trying to communicate what is happening to you. The number one thing that I will ask you is that you please need to take a breath before you make a communication about what someone has done to you. The reason I say this is because, um, there were a couple times in that chase where, for example, I was in the blue car. Uh, and I would pit someone or, um, you know, tap someone in a corner and we're, I mean, literally we were going like 10 miles an hour and I was listening to your guys' comms and I heard someone call out, the blue car's ramming us. <laughs> I need you to understand that vocabulary that wasn't me, was matters it? when we're policing. Um, ramming is a term that gets used differently by a lot of different people, but at least in terms of the PD, what you need to understand is that when we say ram, what we mean is that someone drove at you head on, accelerating the entire time and slammed into you. Uh, a ram is typically something will happen where like, let's say this car is boxed, this gauntlet right here, and there's a CVPI. Someone will drive into the CVPI at like 60 miles an hour, smash into the car and send it pinballing, okay? That's what a ram is. Mm. If someone taps into you into a corner um, and you're both going like 10 miles an hour, do not call out that you've been rammed because then what will happen is is that other more senior officers will take that to mean that the criminals have escalated and then they will escalate based on that call, okay? So it's always very important to be accurate with what's happening to you and what you were really on radio. Um, in terms of pits, I think you guys did good at identifying the interference cars. You guys did good at calling out, you know, that they were gonna be pit or sent to a wall or whatever. Um, obviously, some of it needs to be a little bit cleaner. Um, you know, the focus right now in PD is on executing the techniques better. We always need to improve. We need to not just result to like, or resort to basically what the criminals are doing. Uh, we need to be better than the criminals. So just because a criminal Definitely. gets in a bumper car fight with you and starts just ramming you, you know, back and forth into a wall, right? Like reversing and accelerating, just slamming uh, you probably into not the wall. That does it's, not it's mean that fun. that's like our standard action. Okay? I've had fun today you in the academy, to You guys need to be honest. better. Um, so even if you are getting, you know, uh, pitted and blocked and whatever, you need to communicate to them, I'm going to put you in a wall. I'm going to pit you, right? We don't pit from the front. See what I'm saying? We pit by hitting the rear quarter panel of the car and spinning them out. We pit on the apex of turns, things like that. So just because the criminals are, you know, getting into this kind of like dangerous maneuvers doesn't mean you should be doing the same thing. Uh, everything else was done really well. Um, obviously, there was a little bit of chaos there at the end. You guys did a very good job of articulating that if they touched the suspects, they were going to be beat down. And then, you know, you held the scene appropriately. So good job on everything there. Um, any of the other FTOs, any observations? I was kind of swapping with their radio channel, so I'm not sure what you guys were seeing. <laughs> what, Beckel? I thought uh, y'all did a good job of trying to maintain position with the 95, um, making the declaration saying, hey, do not touch him. We will use the baton. Vocalizing that and verbalizing it is very important, and I'm proud of y'all did that because it's very important Wait, to really, vocalize Bird? your actions. Did you offer. use my link? It might go through later. It might be like delayed or something. Oh, yeah, yeah Bruce. Bro, for real, tactical. Um, that shit was tragic. It like, you actually. Guys didn't just vocalize it, didn't do shit. It is, yeah. there looking like headless dog. What was she saying? Good. I did. Yeah. I had a quick question. So, I don't know if these would be separate or the same. If we have to break off to refuel or break off 
uh, to repair our vehicle because we crashed out. Can we rejoin the pursuit, or are we out yes. of pursuit? Yes. Yes. It yes. might be because of that bird. Who knows? There, there is no more. Is there is down. There, the only reason, uh, Bruce, you were thinking of the past, we weren't allowed to rejoin pursuits, is because there was a Benny's in PD, and criminals did not have access to a Benny's. No, I'm not doing uh, that. Everyone's no. on the same footing <laughs> now. Everyone has repair kits. Everyone has to get a repair from a mechanic if they don't use the kit. So there are no issues about rejoining the chase after you repair or anything like that. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so, unless anyone has any other pressing questions... Dude, I'm... Um, I need to drop some everyone to sort armor of line up on the sidewalk right here. I need to drop Basically, something that way a saying, lot. Oh, the really spike strips weigh fifty. Was job. That was good. I need to put those in the. I need to put those in the. Crystal, you finally hey. got them. You got them. Hey. Hey. That was great. That was Hello. great. That was good job. Crystal, join your other uh. Cadets on well, I was too shy to say like I did put spikes down, so my so Siobhan got. Spikes. Everybody get lined up on yeah, the sidewalk. Yeah, appreciate you, Raven. It'll probably go through later. I appreciate you though, man. We have like we almost have a hundred installs on the sponsor chat. All right, let's see what's going on now. We're at 97 installs, chat. 97 I, and 46 level fives. Almost every single academy for at least shift two, except for Holy I think shit, one. Chat. In the past five and a half months, and you guys coming yeah, out of today. Oh yeah, the barrier. Are such a good spot. I think you, this is probably one of the, the better, like the best academies that I've seen, ever. So. Um, be confident in yourself, all right? <clears throat> really I'm already good. out, Layla. Be yes, sure to out. thank Declan, Aspen, and any of the other FTOs that came in here Your food, out bro. of the weekend and put in time into you guys. That, thank you. That is, thank you. is something you guys should really don't take that for granted because that it's a hard job. It's tiring for us, uh, and it, it is a lot of a lot of work that goes into this. So, you guys are great. Thank your FTOs, FTIs, I should say. These two are. Yeah. So, Alright, I got First one more PCSO thing. Academy. Uh, Pikachu, come up here. De binga, oh, ay mi madre, ay mi madre. I said it. not have been more perfect. Holy Crystal. shit, what's... Never mind. Alright, Pikachu, get your ass up here. Uh, Pikachu, you, you are graduating this academy as a PPO. Congratulations. Congrats. Ay mi madre, thank you so much, bro. Congratulations. Jesus, I want to thank Jesus Christ first. You know, for being Amen. there. I want to thank my mother. You know, I want to thank Boner, yeah. who used to be my partner, and we used to kidnap people together. Uh, uh, I want to thank all the FTIs for training me today, and all the cadets for being by my side. You know, thank you guys so much. Thank you. All right, good shit. Um, I, I want you guys to understand this um, as like a measurement of how things went in this academy. Uh, in past academies with, um, you know, Aspen Bones, even, you know, many, many lifetimes Oh ago, my god, right? I'm a PPO, chat! Um, when we do those pee -pee. last scenarios I'm a pee -pee. and the FTOs go hard, um, it was Easy pretty clap. much get to some the claps point in the where we would just shit stomp the cadets. I mean, like, there's some stuff we didn't do, obviously. We weren't cuffing you guys, because crims don't have cuffs right now, but um, we were shit stomping the cadets. We were ending up, you know, kidnapping them, holding them up, robbing them, all this kind of crazy shit. You guys are one of the few cadet classes I've ever seen that by the end of the academy were able to actually catch people, uh, which has a very, very good sign for your future, okay? Mm. So, you know, keep yeah. up the confidence, mm. keep up your SOPs. Yeah. Just remember, right? This is this is a hierarchical organization. Are you Cubano? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay? What's up, Matt? There is a chain of command. You follow that chain of command. Wait, so can so I, I can go on duty field, by myself. And you're a cadet or a PPO, okay? You look to deputies or officers to instruct a... you. If you have a problem with something a deputy or an officer did, you go to a senior, right? And, and so on and so on. You follow the chain of the command. Now, what this also does for you is it protects you. What I mean by this is, is that if you're out in the field and you're unsure about something, you don't need to make a judgment call. EPO you means that I'm a solo cadet, chat. And, and do make I can ride by myself. Decision. There is almost always, and I say because like 1% of the time, maybe someone's pointing a gun at somebody and you figure out what to do in, the, in that second. There is almost always time to radio. Can I go patrol solo now, chat? There is almost always a scene lead, a chain of command, a senior on duty, a sergeant on duty. Ask questions. If you are unsure, if you're unsure about something mm. you did in the scenario, ask questions. Own up to what you did. Say, hey, Sarge, uh, I tackled this guy, and then as he was getting up, he kind of got like stuck in the ground, and I went for cuffs, and he was complaining that you know he couldn't break out of the cuffs. Mm -mm. Just communicate with your superior officers. Let the more experienced people deal with the situations, okay? Um, you, you will thrive if you act like a cadet. 
if you act like someone who knows everything, uh, then you will fuck up and then you will get in trouble. So embrace learning, mm -hmm. embrace being a cadet, allow yourself we to lost fuck peanut. up, allow Calm yourself down, to I'm gonna be on peanut tomorrow. Ask questions, don't assume you know everything, and then you'll be great, okay? So after this um, concludes, which is basically like right now, we're gonna get all the cars back to MRPD. Um, I assume most, of, if not all of the FTOs and deputies here are you, going right? off duty because we are tired. <laughs> Um, so I do not believe anyone will be taking anyone out tonight. In fact, I would prefer you all go off duty and go get some rest, you know, oh, shit. maybe just look at the case law stuff a little bit, look at the paperwork stuff I sent you. Um, you will be assigned a mentor. I will reach out to all of you individually and let you know who that is. We will get you in touch with that mentor. Your first session or two should be a scheduled session with that mentor. Once that scheduled session has been done, you may then basically go out on duty with any deputy in the BCSO. Yo, another as level far as five. With LSPD officers, you need to bring that up to their chain of command. That is not our call Yo, to make. Raven, we can there you go, Raven. It, Thank you so much, Raven. Our call to say, yeah, go ask LSPD officers to go on duty. In terms of you know natural, it should be with other BCSO. I'm mean, I mean, this. All right, <clears> yeah. thanks everybody. Let's get mounted up. Let's get everything. Andy, back thank you for the 200 PD. bits, Andy. Appreciate you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna